The Spectrum module lets you compare spectra from different projects, and even carry out a number of operations between them. To process spectra with the calculator, they must represent equivalent level data, which means any A, B, C or Z weighted LEQ spectrum can be used. To start with, select a project and switch to the calculation tab. Instead of the various annotations, the sidebar now shows a small toolbox with drop down boxes, fields and buttons. Below the toolbox is a list which initially only contains a reference to the current project spectrum. You can add further spectra to the list by dragging them from the tree into the sidebar. Thereby, if you started with an octave band spectrum and add a third octave one, Measurement Partner will automatically convert the data into an octave spectrum so that you can process them together. However, if the project you start with is a third octave spectrum, you cannot add octave spectra to it since the octave spectrum cannot be split up. If you are using the calculator in a logging project, it is also possible to pick any LEQ spectrum from an interval or marker and use it in the calculator. To do so, select the Measurement tab. Adjust the spectrum display to show logging interval or marker data. Make sure the desired LEQ spectrum type is selected for display and pick the interval or marker for which you want the data to be used in a calculation. Then right click the graph and select Copy Data to Calculations. When you return to the Calculator tab, you will see the spectrum added to the bottom of the list, with information on the original position in the project. In addition to being added to the list, all spectra in the sidebar will be shown in the calculator's display, so you can immediately compare them. However, if you do not need them all, you can easily hide spectra by unchecking the ones to leave out. Finally, you can reuse spectra from one calculator session in the calculations of another project. To do so, use the pull out button to open the calculator of one project in a separate window. Then select the other project in the main window and switch to the calculator. You can now drag spectra from one list into the other. Once in the list, you can alter the frequency weighting of a spectrum, add spectra or subtract one or more from another. Subtract a fixed number of decibels from a spectrum to adjust for the effect of a measurement close to a facade. Carry out background noise correction according to various building acoustic standards. To carry out any of these operations, in the toolbox, select the type of operation to apply and set the desired options. Then select the spectrum or spectra to process. In the case of changing the frequency weighting or decibel subtraction, only a single spectrum needs to be selected, but you can apply either operation to several spectra at the same time. To add or subtract spectra, you need to select at least two items in the list. When you add spectra, selection order does not make a difference. However, when carrying out a subtraction, the spectrum which appears first in the list will be the one all others will be subtracted from. You can use the two buttons in the top right corner to change the order of items in the list. The same applies when you want to correct one spectrum for background noise which is represented by another one in the list. However, for this operation, only two spectra can be selected. The second spectrum selected will be considered the background noise. Each operation results in at least one new spectrum, the output of the calculation. Even operations on a single spectrum, such as post weighting, will not overwrite the original data. Instead, the new spectrum will be added as a separate item to the bottom of the list. The name will reflect the spectra used, as well as the type of operation. In general, you can further process results. For example, you can first apply A weighting to a spectrum and then add it to another already A weighted spectrum. However, the calculator will prevent you from applying the same frequency weighting twice to the same spectrum, which means you cannot A weight a spectrum to which you have already applied A weighting. Naturally, you can change the order of items in the list and you can delete any of the entries, including the original spectrum, since even this is just copied data. To get it back into the list, just drag the currently selected project from the tree into the sidebar and there it is again.